My name is Julia Hobart and I'm a 2017-18 Cedar Commissions artist. My piece is called To Spill My Husband's Blood. It is a series of original songs that respond to historical Anglo-Celtic and American murder ballads. Each song that I'm writing is a reply and a reimagining of a traditional ballad. A murder ballad, it can take many different forms. It is a song about a murder. Most of the time, the murder is real or actually happened. Some of the times, the murder is so ancient that the story has, has evolved and changed and become something other than fact. So you would have ballad singers standing on a street corner singing about the murder that happened down the street. And that was how, that was how rumors spread, that was how news spread, and that was how stories spread. In my piece, I challenge some of the narration of murder ballads. To me anyways, it seems like some of the ballads relish the telling of, the, of these deaths. They like enjoy the drama of them and kind of forget about the, the person that was killed. So I don't know any of, these, any of these women, but I'm trying to imagine and respond to and empathize with these women who were killed. So I'm a singer primarily. I have some experience playing piano, but since high school I've been a singer and that's what I've done as, as a musician. I'm really comfortable writing vocal melodies, writing vocal harmonies, so this was a chance for me to really explore the breadth that you can gain from including other instruments. There is one piece that is seven part vocal harmony, um, which was really fun to write. So I did kind of go all out for that one. <laughs> With this song series, I'm trying to take a range of emotional responses. There's one song where I, it's like one woman talking to her friend, you know, saying like, he's not worth it. There's like a humorous approach. And then I also like, I was thinking more about the murder of Kitty Jing in Minneapolis. I, I had wanted to do a lot of research for this project. To like, you know, look at old ballads and old things that people said about old ballads. I checked out a book from the library and came across a ballad and a word stuck out to me and it was Lake Calhoun. And I went back and, and read the story and it was about a woman who was murdered in Minneapolis and found myself really, really enraged. Like that is, like, like everyone knows murder isn't fair, but if you stop and think about what it actually means when somebody kills another person, they're taking away that other person's right to author their own lives. And they're, they're not just taking away a life, they're taking everything that a life encompasses. Um, and I got really, really pissed off. And so that song is a, like an accusation to her killer. Like, you need to be held accountable for what you did to me. I want people to think about stories that they hear and who's telling the stories and who's not, and who the stories are about, and whether or not the people the stories are about have any say in how the stories are told.